Hey, what's going on guys? Lost with Custom Offsets. We're down here in Conroe, Texas for Lone Star Throwdown 2022. It's muddy, it's wet. It's kind of a shit show down here, but we're still gonna bring you guys this content on some of our favorite builds from the show this year. We walked around, we've been here for a couple days. We've seen the big, we've seen the bad, we've seen it all, and we're bringing that to you guys today with my boots. All right, guys, first up on the list, we have Scoop SMGs. 77 Ford dent side swapped with a 12 valve Cummins in it. Let's check this thing out. So obviously when we do these walk arounds, we like to start with the wheels and tires. So first up, we got a set of TIS Forge uh, and this is gonna be in a 28 by 16. This thing's absolutely massive. He's got the black up front, but obviously you guys know Scoop likes to do everything in black and red. Uh, so it does have like the spokes. Uh, they are black. The inside of the spokes are all red. The inner barrel's red. And it just looks super fire. Now on these TISs, it is wrapped in a 44 bogger, Super Swapper Interco bogger. And these things are huge, they're knobby, they're aggressive, and I think it really fits this build super, super well. If you guys come in here, you guys can see the RKB shocks. You guys can see the custom one-off suspension with the SMG logo. He's got shaved door handles. Uh, you can just see the classic build with the new school touch and feel. Everybody's talking about this build. Everybody's coming and swarming him and seeing this thing. We are at the pre-meet and everyone just like was in awe because you just see this thing. You saw how fast he was scrambling to get it done and to see it here is super, super cool. We come around to the back. Don't mind me. It's a freaking mud fest. I don't even have, I don't even have my jeans over my boots right now. All right, so as you guys can see, if you come down underneath, you guys can see the helper bags in the rear. So he's got an airbag set up in the rear. He also has his whole axles. Everything underneath this thing is completely powder coated red. I mean, everything has been touched on this truck. Absolutely phenomenal. It looks amazing. Uh, while we're under here as well, you guys can see the air uh, compressors. That is gonna be for the train horns. He's got the Gen Y hitch. He's got the flatbed. He's got the fuel box with speakers. He's got literally everything touched on this truck and it looks super, super well. We had to stop here first. We had to talk about this thing first because literally the whole show is talking about it and it looks absolutely amazing. Let's get to the next one. All right guys, next up we got Miguel's 2020 F250. Let's go check this thing out. All right guys, if you come in here, check out the wheel and tire setup. Uh, Miguel is running a 28 by 16 fuel forge wheel. Uh, with that, he's got it wrapped in a Comforcer 42, uh, 15 and a half. So massive wheel and tire setup. Obviously to fit this wheel and tire setup up in here, uh, he had to lift this thing and he did so pretty, pretty high. So he's actually running a 12 inch striker kit, ended up throwing in a uh, spacer puck as well uh, with two inches coming out to a total of 14 inches. So like I said, this thing's absolutely massive. Uh, that covers the wheels, tires and suspension, but he's done a couple other things. So with this being a Lariat, uh, he ended up coming in, uh, paint matching the mirrors. Also, if you come through here, uh, he does have the Morimoto headlights look absolutely fire on these brand new Super Duties. Uh, you can see the paint to match all inside. He also has some of his blue inside of the Morimotos as well, and it just looks super, super good. When he started this thing up, and these the, the C-bars come on, his logo lights up, this thing looks absolutely amazing. If we come down the side once again, if you come in here, Dustin, I got my man Dustin Korth behind the camera. Uh, if you come in here, he does have three rock lights in each wheel well. Uh, and then he also has one up front, one in the back, and also has two along the sides coming out to 18 total rock lights. So this thing lights up at night, looks absolutely beautiful. The gray with the blue is such a fire combo that you don't see a lot of, and I absolutely love it. And we come back through here, you guys are gonna see, obviously the striker kit is all blue. He does have his leaf springs all blue as well. You come back here, don't mind his uh, microfibers are getting this thing detailed before today, uh, here on our last day, but he also has a blue Gen Y uh drop hitch as well and he even went and powdered the receiver as well so overall a super super clean build i love the gray i love the blue it's such a cool color combo it's big but he can still use it absolutely love this thing let's get to the next one all right guys we were just gonna roll the montage but there's no way i could not talk about this truck there's a lot of massive trucks in here but this one is so cool and so unique so as you guys can tell if you guys know anything about fast and furious we see when paul walker died what ended up happening was they auctioned off his whole car collection in 2020 uh, down in arizona and he had a bunch of cars now paul actually used to rock this truck drive this truck around uh, and mike langford actually bought this truck off auction and completely redid it in the theme to pay tribute to Paul Walker, and it's absolutely insane. Super cool, super eye-catching. When I first saw this thing, we saw it on the street, 
Dustin and I saw it on the street while we were driving like our first night here, and I was like, no freaking way, man. So super cool, let's hop in here. So obviously first up, we got to talk about the wheels and tires. So it is sitting on some 26s, American Forces, with some 37, 13 and a half Gladiator XCOM MTs. Looks super phenomenal. The concave wheel, the polish, the super aggressive Gladiator X Comps just looks super, super good. Once again, I did talk to you guys about the fact that he has that silver with the blue. So throughout this, you're gonna see the blue spikes. You're gonna see the blue Cognito lift. That's how they fit these wheels and tires on. Blue frame, blue upper control arms, blue suspension, blue WC fab underneath. Uh, you know, we got a photo over there that we can show you guys too, where it shows the whole thing. I mean, everything was touched from the frame to the motor, everything was done. So obviously being a 2500, if we roll down here, you guys do see uh, some Cognito goodies as well under here. And the best part about this whole thing is this isn't stickered, right? This whole thing was painted. So the livery uh, was painted. You guys can see it goes from a light faded blue into a dark blue. Uh, the whole truck was repainted, it used to be white. And just the whole build, absolutely insane. Some vlog bumpers. I mean, come on, can't get more custom than that. All right guys, next up we are over here at BDS in their booth. They got a 2020 Ram 2500 Cummins and they got a brand new kit to show you guys just dropped last week, let's check it out. All right, so let's take a look at the wheels and tires. If you guys come on in here, this is gonna be the TIS 557s. Absolutely love this wheel design. We don't see it a lot, honestly, uh, and I'm so glad that's on this thing. It makes this thing look so aggressive. So if we were talking about the wheels, it's gonna be a 24 by 14. Again, it's the 557s. The spoke design, you see like the split spokes coming to one, really dives back into the center cap, giving it a very aggressive thin spoke design. Also, these crazy purple spike lugs look absolutely amazing. This thing is gonna be wrapped in a Mickey Thompson Baja Boss. Uh, it's gonna be a 38, 15 and a half R24 from Mickey Thompson. So again, Mickey Thompson, kind of like Versatire and all them, they kind of have like the in-between sizes. Uh, Mick Thompson does a very good job with that, and the Baja Boss is a fantastic tire. It looks aggressive. Uh, really like the square setup. Like I said, 15 and a half tire sitting on a 14 wide. You guys do see the little bit of protection on this Cummins. Uh, if we keep talking about the truck, though, let's hop into the 8-inch kit. So this is going to be their brand new 8-inch kit for the Ram 2500s, Ram 3500s. If you guys actually come over here, we can actually get a closer look. So they actually have a display of this whole thing. This kit actually dropped a week ago. So obviously BDS, made in America, ready to ship right now. You guys can get your hands on this if you guys own a Ram 2500 or 3500. But this is gonna be uh, their new premium kit for those trucks. So you guys see uh, the Fox shocks, you guys see the coil spring, you guys see the pitman arm drop, you guys see the radius arms. Uh, fantastic kit, uh, and it looks really, really good, especially on the eight inch. You guys see how big this thing is. All right, so up front, guys, we do have the Fab 4 bumper. Obviously, super aggressive with the bull bar on this. Uh, also, it does have the winch. It's going to be a worn winch up front. Uh, it's got the bolt hooks as well. Super aggressive. You guys see also a custom grill with the light bar in there as well. And that pretty much wraps this whole thing up. Main thing to take away from this is this BDS kit just dropped one week ago. Eight-inch kit for the Ram 2500s, 3500s, made in America, ready to ship. And that's our pick from the BDS booth. Up to the next one. Alrighty guys, so this is the very last one we're gonna cover and we have to cover this because it's a square body Chevy and we're in Texas and this thing literally screams Texas. It's beautiful, it's hopping in. Alrighty guys, so let's start off wheels and tires like we've been doing throughout the whole video. So this is actually gonna be a set of Alcoas uh, in a set of 24 inch Alcoas. So when we talk about Alcoas, if you guys don't know, Alcoa is very old school, uh, but they're so sick and they look so good, especially on these older, style square bodies. So Alcoa is actually, if you guys did not know, uh, they actually get shaved down and they come in half sizes because semi. So this is actually gonna be in a 24 and a half, actually shaved down to a 24, and then you slap the tires on it. So a little tidbit of information, if you guys did not know that, uh, Amp MTs, if you guys see, they are their Terrain Attack MTs, uh, and this is gonna be in a 37, 13 and a half R24. So super fire setup, as you guys can see, uh, it, you do have the bulge, you do have the protection, and it looks super, super fire. That way they are protected, except they're not really because the lugs on this thing are freaking huge. Like, what? That's crazy. But it looks fire. If we come down the side, there's not much else to talk about on this. Obviously, it's just a super clean build, dark tint, Alcoas, 37s, dually, mobbing down the street, mobbing down the highway, and it just looks very very good so that's what we got for you guys on today's video of some of the builds that really caught our eye as we walk through 
the showgrounds of Lone Star Throwdown 2022. If you guys absolutely love the one we did in Myrtle, I hope you guys enjoy this one as well. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension for your build, customoffsets.com. We'll see you guys in the next one.